on the tee from Belgium, Thomas Peters. Working his way back up the world rankings. And that uh, wonderful win in Portugal towards the back end of last year. And he'd love the sort of start he had here in the opening round. Birdie Eagle went the Belgian. He looked like he was itching to get going there, didn't he? You don't see too many players of the ball teed up before the announcement. Safe shot, lesser of two evils there, didn't want to make the mistake of going long. Yeah, this is one of those that it wouldn't surprise me one bit if he hold it. Very near the dead as well. Needs to land it on the top shelf coming down and breeze. Wait till they get the tricky pins right on. Wind straight out of the right with a little bit of hurt. Back bunker, but a decent angle. He's have half a chance of getting down in two from there. of sand between the club and the ball. Got it to come out yeah, softly. Okay. The ball is above his feet, which helps the course. Tad unlucky. Firm a first bounce and that would have been adjacent. The championship leader. Yeah, Peters. 11 under and open up a three shot lead. That looks like oh, a little unlucky, didn't quite make the carry onto the flat bit so it didn't run far. Be aggressive with it. Come undone. Looking for the high, handsome one. Where's this one going to land? Oh, is it going to be? No, it's going to the Valley of Sin. It's not too bad there, Kenny. No, it's, 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 it's puttable from most places down there, unless the sprinkler heads are in your way. Yeah. This is uh, very slow, right to left. It wants to catapult from right to left. So very difficult to keep it under the hole. As you can see, these greens, have, they are so quick now. And the wind is warm, it's firm, and it's drying these things out. It's for birdie for Thomas Peters to extend his lead, to go up by three. Had it left, expecting a little bit of drift. It didn't come. 182, that's a 9-iron, trying to hit it 15 feet left of it, if he can. There's a little slope that just might bring it down hole side. Right there. Come on down, yeah. Freddie Brown. This is a view that could go in. Oh. Called perfectly, Radar, and played perfectly. He's aiming left, allowing for a lot of break with that wind out of the right. Don't overborrow. You'll miss it left. It's quick. <laughs> First birdie of the day comes at the eighth, and it's a three-shot cushion for Thomas Peters. Soft bounce, pretty good, beautifully struck. I reckon if he hits it straight overall, it could do the trick. Oh. 
He can't reach. My word, he can go close. Okay, there with the pin at the back of the green, a bit of landing area, fluffy rough as long as he gets a half decent line. He'll lick his chops with this one. These are two big hills now for Peter. To ten, Peters. And this is to move three clear of Cabrera Bayo. This is a tough shot. Aggressive it is. Oh, she came through that with some speed. Yeah, good now, isn't it? It was. I thought for one moment it was going to go over the other side. Peters to extend. Oh, steady on, steady on. Tricky. He's missed nothing of this length this week. And suddenly the pressure's on. How swiftly things can change. Been faultless. Been patient. Got to go up the left and he is. I think he might get a bit of a kick in too. Well played. Three yards right, you're in a, in a hollow like the Valley of Sin. Can't afford to go in there, or it's tricky. That would have been a really lovely bounce back after the drop shot at the par five. Not this time for Thomas Peters. He still leads by one for now. Off the down slope, which is a really good thing. He's trying to use that slope on the right. Kick straight left. Go on, momentum will bring it down there. That's a very clever shot. Doesn't want to move a whole lot. What a chance to bend one. Oh. There was a moment at uh, 11 where in years gone by he, he may have struggled with that, but somehow managed to just shrug it off. Do you think he knows what the situation is, Thomas Peters? I don't think these two out here, caddy and player, are really thinking about it. We're seeing a new, as I said on the last green, Kenny, we're seeing a new Thomas Peters. He's just trying to get this thing done. He's not even looking at boards, and, uh, and rightly so. I think we'll see a bailout shot here. I think he might leave it even 40 feet, 35 feet short over there on the right. I can't see him taking this flag on. Yeah, well, just under it, 40 feet under it. That's exactly what he was trying to do. Just hit it to the heart of it anyway, and that leaves the straightest part right there. So, a good play. Oh, that was, that was a great shot. Yeah, as as oh. easy, eh? That was a top that was never going to be raced at the hook. And he's just ticked off these holes, the dangerous ones, 15, 16 and 17. Taken care of and kept his nose in front. And he's got himself a, a cushion to take into 18. Out with the driver. Big wide fairway. A lot of people think to themselves, well, they say, well, why don't we move the tee up and make it a risk and reward so they can make an eagle? A lot of fun can be had when the, the tee's all the way back here as well. It brings sevens into play, it brings all sorts into play. So this is just as exciting. Oh, he got a mighty good break with his tee shot there, four feet to the left, and he'd have been in the sand. Peter's yeah. not wasting any time. Here's the layup. Okay. I'm gonna go. Just what the doctor orders, I would say. Not taking any risks. He's going with a little chippy nine iron. He gave us a glimpse of the club there. Good choice. Stays with the short swing. 
three-quarter on the way back, three-quarter on the way through. He'd like it half as near again. Safely a boat. And Peters with two putts for the title. It was never going to be wasted though. Calm nerves, a sheer touch. Mark that and just stand clear. He understands the importance of the other putts coming up on this 18th green. Yeah! Thomas Peters is back at golf's top table. He wins the Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship by one with a controlled performance out there. It's a mature Peters. He's a Rolex Series winner. And it has been hugely impressive, not just today, but across the week from the Belgian. Well, Thomas. I know, I know there's a lot to take in, but many, many congratulations. You are the Abu Dhabi HSBC champion. If you can, just tell us your initial reaction. Uh, I'm, I'm happy I can finally get Adam a, a gold bib. <laughs> We've been talking about this for years, and uh, yeah, it's fantastic. I, uh, I, was, I was well in control of my ball all day, and, and you know, the putting wasn't maybe there, but um, early on I felt pretty confident, but um, yeah, I got close at the end. The leaderboard was changing all day long. On the 15th tee, you were standing tied for the lead. By the 16th tee, you had the solo lead by one shot. But we can see it's no easy closing stretch here at Yas Links. Just give us an idea of your emotions coming in there. Well, I kind of chickened out on the last. Uh, um, I was going to go for it, but um, the scoreboard on 17 is broken, so I didn't really know. Um, and then Adam told me I was too ahead, so I just I decided to lay up. Uh, almost hit it in the bunker, but uh, finally, yeah, I made a five, it's fine. <laughs> it seems like you've turned a corner, Thomas, starting with your win last year in, in Portugal, followed by a very strong finish in Dubai. You've now secured your sixth title on the DP World Tour. In your opinion, what has been the difference? Uh, my putter, for sure. Um, you know, I work with the guys from Titleist. Um, they just kind of gave, they analyzed my, my putting was not so good, you know, I've been working, working hard with my coach, but just wasn't getting the results. And they, they gave me this putter I'm using now and, and everything's been flowing. And um, yeah, I've been making a lot of putts and just happy with it. And mentally, we know sometimes you can see you getting a little hot under the collar right there, but today, absolutely no sign of that. You look totally in control. What, what have you got to say about that? Not much, I don't know. I was just, you know, when you're in control of your ball flight and, and your golf ball, it's, it's, it's fun, you know, you, you, you can be creative and, and that's, that's how I fell out there today. And this makes you the first ever Belgian winner of a Rolex Series event. So congratulations. Another big week ahead, of course, back-to-back -back Rolex Series in Dubai. What does a statement of this magnitude mean to you at this time? Um, yeah, I just hope all the juniors back home are watching this. And, you know, I used to watch as a kid and think, you know, it's impossible for me. But then, you know, when Nico came on the scene and started winning, it's, um, it's stuff like that that inspires kids. And you know, hopefully I can do that back home winner many many congratulations and it is Peters who lifts the Falcon trophy and he won't mind posing for a few photos will he to watch another DP World Tour video click here and to subscribe click here